talking about law is a criminal operation. It's called criminal justice. And that's why the judges will tell you there is no justice. There's just us. We decide what the truth is and what, what you get, what you don't get. It's just us. And so <clears throat> it's a very big story about words and terms and why we, you know, uh, uh, I could give you so many examples of how we're being fooled. Let me give you one example quickly about how we are being lied to and tricked into believing something that's not true. And I am not a lawyer. I am not practicing law. I'm not giving you any legal uh, understanding at all. I'm merely giving you an entertainment I'm explaining something to you to entertain you and to educate you. I'm not suggesting you do anything about it because you'll get in trouble if you try and do something about what I'm talking about. So just listen to me for entertainment and education, not, not to practice law. So he gives you a ticket. He's carrying the ticket himself. It's his ticket. And he writes out the ticket explaining how much he's going to charge you with. You've been charged with doing this. You've been charged with going 60 miles an hour. You've been charged with the illegal turn. So he's writing out the ticket that he's going to charge you. And you're expected to pay the ticket. But what you don't know is if he, when it's his ticket, he's the one that's holding it. And he writes out the, the charges on the ticket and then signs it. Then he hands the ticket to you, and you're expected to sign it and pay the ticket. But what he didn't tell you, and the government doesn't tell you, nobody knows and nobody's ever told you, you are at that moment a co-signer on a ticket in commerce. The ticket is a commercial instrument, meaning you have to pay it. Because it's the same thing when you go into a big department store and buy a pair of shoes. They're going to give you a ticket and you're expected to pay it. You sign it and you're going to pay the ticket. So that's what happens when the cop stops you. He's going to sign, fill out the ticket. He's going to sign it and he's going to give it to you and you sign it. But when you signed it, you are in fact by law a co-signer. So if you don't have the money to buy the TV, I go in there with you and I co-sign for you. That means if you don't pay the ticket, I'm taking on the responsibility and I'll pay it. If you don't pay it, I'm your co-signer. Well, you are a co-signer to the cop that's writing out the ticket. He signed it first. You're the second one. You co-signed it, which means if you take that ticket, photocopy the ticket, you keep the original, and you send in the picture of the ticket to the Secretary of State in the state in which you live. They're called Secretary of State. You send that ticket in with, a, with an affidavit that's been <clears throat> signed by you that says you have decided you don't want to co-sign for a ticket in commerce. You didn't know that's what was happening, that you were co-signing. And so you tell the Secretary of State, I don't wish to co-sign for this. I didn't know I was co-signing for a ticket and commerce. The Secretary of State will then send that letter that you sent in, send it to the, the, the Treasury Department of the state in which you live, and the state treasurer will send that ticket to the cop, and he has to pay it. Because it's his ticket, and he's the one that signed it first. And why you go to court? Because you would play tennis on a court. You play with a racket. And how are you playing in a court? You're playing with the American criminal justice system. It's called criminal justice because the justice is being administered in the courts by the criminals. And you need to understand the basis for all American law today is the planet Saturn. Saturn was the god of the Jews. Saturn was referred to by Judaism as the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is 
trust the planet Saturn because he is the Lord of the Rings. And the Lord of the Rings, if you look in the reference book, Saturn was called the God of the Black Robe. He was always pictured as a god wearing a black robe. That's why judges wear black robes. They're representing Saturn. The judges wear black robes. The uh, Darth Vader in the movie wears black robes. When you graduate from university, you wear a black robe. You wear a black square marshal board on your head when you graduate. All of this is going back to the worship of the planet Saturn.